This is part four of how to build an IP-based KVM using a Raspberry Pi and the Geekworm KVM kit uh, with part number KVM-A3. In this video, which is the fourth video of the four-part series, we will discuss how to actually log in to the KVM interface and how to actually use the system we will go through a few of the features and explain uh, what the different features are for and what the expected uh, functionality is. If you have not already done so, now is a great time to click that subscribe button. If you'd like to receive alerts when we release new videos, click the bell below the video. We'll proceed with demonstrating the KVM functionality now. All right, so now that we got the ATX card or well it's not actually a card but the atx slot field inside the server and we got the jumper cables over to the motherboard into the switches and led lights we have that connected up to the uh, pi kvm using that cat5 network cable we got it all connected with uh, hdmi cable and the usb c to usb cable and got all that connected up now it's time to test it and make sure it's working, okay? And so before I, before I came over here, I uh, got the final IP address of that Pi KVM. And so to get that going, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna open up a browser and we're gonna type in, we are going to type in the IP address of that, the IP address of that uh, Raspberry Pi KVM, okay? And it's already here in my history because I tried it earlier. It's 192.168.10.189 for me. This is what you'll see when you go to get to it for the first time. And the default username and password is admin and admin. Of course, you will want to go through the documentation and figure out how to change that. And also, I recommend that you enable the two-factor authentication. Uh, it'll keep it more secure. So once you log in with admin and admin, you get these options, KVM, terminal, and logout. What you're going to do is you're going to click KVM. All right. Now, right now, this is connected to my server, um, and the server is not on. So what I'm going to do now, uh, I'm going to move the screen over so you can see. What I'm going to do now is up here, you see the power button. There's a hard drive. Um emblem here and there's a power emblem there when the computer's on that power button will be green when the hard drive is active that hard drive image will be red in this scenario the server's off so to turn it on all you have to do is click the power button up here and click this option click power short all right it asks are you sure you want to press the power button i say yes and the server will boot up. You can see right here that the light turned green. We now have the display coming through. You have reached the end of the four part video series. Thank you for watching the video series on how to build a KVM using a Raspberry Pi and a Geekworm KVM kit. Hopefully you found the information in this video series informative and helpful. If you have any questions or have any comments, please feel free to provide them in the comments section of any of the videos, and I'll do my best to reply back to you as time allows. If you have not already done so, now is a great time to click that subscribe button. If you like the video, go ahead and click that thumbs up. Also, if you'd like to receive notifications of when we release new videos, click that bell for alerts. We appreciate your viewership. Hope that you continue supporting the channel. Please also feel free to check out the Amazon affiliates in the video description below. We'll provide links for all the items uh, involved with this video series, the Raspberry Pi, the kit, um, and whatnot. Uh, we'll also include Amazon links for a few other things that you may have seen throughout the video series. We appreciate your support and hope that you'll check out our new videos in the future. Thank you from Joshua. KI5SIJ, all things ham radio, batteries, and more.